What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and welcome back to another episode. If you guys have been following along with the channel, you will have seen me unbox this beauty right here, the AV10, which is a 15.4 channel processor from Moran. Now, today's episode, we are gonna be unboxing the companion piece to the AV10, the Amp 10, which is a 16 channel power amp. I can't wait to get into this and check it out. Let's go! All right, welcome back Dream Media family. So before we get into the unboxing of the Amp 10, let's do a quick overview of what the AV10 is. Cause you're not even gonna be looking at this product unless you are seriously considering purchasing the AV10. I did make a full unboxing and walkthrough video on this unit. So be sure to go and check that video out. I'll drop a link. Now the AV10 in a nutshell is a processor guys. So it's receiving the signal from your source and it's decoding the audio and the video processing that out so it's sending your full 4k signal which this actually has 8k ports hdmi 2.1 dhcp 2.3 so it's future proof but it's taking that signal the highest possible video signal and sending it out to your projector or television depending on the technology that's packed into your video display it can handle all of the latest and greatest on the video side now on the audio side what it's doing is taking that signal and decoding it depending on the audio format that you select. So it has options for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, RO3D, it's IMAX Enhanced. It has all the latest and greatest stuff built right into it. But you need to select that, program it, calibrate it, run room correction to get it to that point. I'm gonna make a video in the future showing you guys how to do that in detail. So stay tuned to the channel. But what it's going to do is then, once you have assigned your output, say it's a Dolby Atmos 9.4.6, which would be the maximum capabilities and output for this particular unit. Then it's gonna send the signal out of the balanced XLR outputs, which are just pre-outs, or the unbalanced analog output. Now, what you need in addition to the AV10 is this Amp10, which is what the video today is on, because this doesn't have any built-in amplification. It's a killer processor, the best of the best in the consumer consumer class range that's out on the market right now, but we need to drive those speakers, right? And we wanna make sure we're maximizing the potential of those speakers by providing clean, good power. The Marantz AV10, which we are featuring today, is going to feature 16 channels of amplification. And at eight ohms, it is actually outputting 200 watts per channel on all 16 channels. So although these may have a high price tag associated with them, you're looking at 7,000 thousand dollars US per unit, you're getting a lot for your money. Marantz has always been known for creating really breakthrough technology at an affordable average consumer price point. That may sound crazy saying that that's affordable, but it really is because they're getting up there in class next to our high-end options like audio control and trend off, but still keeping it fairly reasonable in cost. So I cannot wait to open this thing up and check it out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I got the unit here. Let's open it up. I love how Marantz has double boxed these units. Both the AV and the Amp 10 come double boxed, which is great because I actually had one of these get damaged in shipping and I thought we were gonna have to do a replacement because it was double boxed and all the styrofoam and didn't even touch the unit, which was awesome. All right, so let's take a look at the accessories box. We have the Marantz Quick Start Guide. Warranty information. Make sure you're buying from an authorized reseller, guys. It's not worth saving a few bucks on a $7,000 product and uh, the unit going bad on you and not having a warranty. These Marantz units do come with a three-year manufacturer warranty. We have a speaker terminal wrench and some control cables. Amp control, remote control connector cable. And we'll set our accessory box to the side. I have a power cable. And the unit itself. Oh, it's a backbreaker. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here. Oh, whew. Might not be bad if you have back problems to get some help uh, taking that one out of the box. 
All right, guys. Marantz is known as the premium version of Denon. Although Marantz is a average consumer brand, a household name that you may have heard, Marantz is a legendary icon in the audio world. Marantz has peerless performance, immersive spaciousness, warm and rich tones, extraordinary detail, and lifelike dynamics, which are legendary hallmarks of the Marantz sound. Marantz is a legendary leader. The Amp 10 is engineered using best-in-class technologies to enable extraordinary power output, high channel count, and the dynamic, rich, warm sounds for which Marantz is highly renowned. The AV10 and the Marantz 10 also have exquisite design. A modern expression of timeless design principles, the AV10 features an iconic Amp 10 porthole level meter and side lights that illuminate the front panel. All right, now that we have the unit unboxed, let's go ahead and check out this front faceplate. It's very simplistic, and I love that about Marantz, that everything is super minimalistic and just has a classic look to it. So we have the power button over here on the left-hand side. Moving towards the right side, we only have a couple other buttons on the Amp 10. We have the meter on and off, and we have the dimmer button. And then we have this very elegant old school DB meter reader and then made in Japan stamped into the front as well as that classic Marantz logo and then 16 channel power amplifier and amp 10 branded into the front and let's not forget this new visual that they put into the front with this like brush look it's on the full cinema line as well as the amp 10 and the AV 10 absolutely stunning all right guys let's go ahead and check out the back panel. Looking at the rear of the unit, starting from the top left hand side, we're going to have all of our inputs coming from our preamp, the AV10, or whatever processor you're using. You could potentially use this with any processor. So keep that in mind. All you need is a either balanced or unbalanced output out of your preamp into this beautiful power amplifier. Across the top, we have our unbalanced analog inputs and you can select RCA or XLR and then you can select BTL normal or bi-amp depending on how you're gonna utilize the amplifier and assign the power. I'll go into detail on that in my setup video. Let's say your processor doesn't have the ability for XLR outs, then you would then flip up the switch to RCA on all of your un unbalanced inputs. Now, I'm always going to recommend to you guys that you set this up with balanced XLR cables, if at all possible, because it's better quality. So the ports below are going to be all of our inputs from our XLR outs of our AV10 or whatever AV processor you're using. And then we would just select XLR on that particular channel, which you can see we have channel 1 through 16 right here. So the next set of terminals are all your speakers. This is where you would hook up your passive speakers. This is what's actually outputting the power. So the signal's coming into the unit and then it's being amplified and it's being output through these super beefy, high quality speaker terminals. And you would just connect left and right, left and right, channel one through 16. And then down here at the very bottom, we have our auto standby on or off. I would recommend using the amp control input. So whenever you guys turn on your AV10, it automatically turns on the amp 10. And same thing, whenever you go to turn it off, it'll automatically turn it off so that you're not burning energy when you're not using the system. You have DC controls in and out, and you have flasher in, remote control in and out, and an RS-232 straight cable, as well as our AC power connection. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on my quick unboxing and overview of the Amp 10 from Morant. If you haven't seen the video on the AV10, that thing is an absolute masterpiece. So make sure to check out that video. It's the companion piece to this incredible 16 channel amplifier here. Now, if you guys are interested in learning more, stay tuned to the channel because I am going to be setting these bad boys up, showing you how to make all of the connections, as well as doing demos and giving you my 
thoughts on the in-depth setup guide. Now, if you guys would like to purchase, keep in mind that we are your nationwide go-to supplier for everything home theater related. No matter where you are in the country, we can ship the product to you and we offer a free video consultation where we'll walk through your space and we'll tailor a package to fit your exact needs and budget. And if you don't want to put it in yourself, we have a custom integrator, preferred installer network in 28 different states at this time who can help you get it put in. All right, well, that's all I got for you. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.